Welcome back to Let's Stay Rich. We've gotten to know Augustin Fernandez a little bit better and it's time now to familiarize him with the world of investments. Abhishek Mathur of ICICI Securities and Anurag State of Quant Global Wealth Management are at hand to help us do just that. So, Augustine, we've gotten a sense of what money means to you, which is a means to an end, right? Tell us something about your family. How many people are there? How many people are dependent on your income? And uh, what are the kind of provisions or help that you extend to your family? I have one dad and a brother. Uh, brother have his own business, so okay. so only dad is uh, like dependent on me. Okay. Tell us something about um, what are the big expenses that you see coming up in your life, right? What are the goals that you want to account money for? Actually, I want to build a uh, small house to my dad. Okay. That is uh, like my main dream. Beyond that, I just want to travel the whole world. Mm -hmm. If I get a chance uh, after maybe my football career over I want to travel the world okay what else uh, do you look forward to perhaps getting married having kids yeah okay. obviously uh, okay. but it will take some time because uh, I have to be I have to build my own house hmm. and get settled first okay. and I will think of uh, getting married and all you know the goals that you set for yourself are really core goals and they're hmm. not really discretionary kind of expenses Right. And uh, that's the first step for good financial planning. The other thing which I would suggest is that you should look at uh, building a retirement corpus mm. pretty early on. So that should also fall in as a part of your core goals. So I would just uh, like to add like any financial plan rest on three pillars. So one is liquidity, risk and then future growth. So I think if you have structured it well, then you're home. Okay, so which way do you think Augustine's should be structured? So depending on the goals he has listed, I think mm. his liquidity remains the first key mm. because he needs to be, because since it's an 11 month contract and right. then next year it again, so he needs to maintain that liquidity at any mm. point of time. Second is a protection for mm. uh, family and third is then building it on a future growth trajectory mm. where he needs to start saving and then build a corpus. Okay, so one of the things that I actually want to speak to you about is your insurance. Now you, uh, like Anurag mentioned, have insurance from the club. Uh, do you have uh, life insurance over and above that? Yeah, I have uh, my personal insurance also. And any health insurance for yourself or your family? Yeah, I did my health insurance. Uh, does that cover your father as well? No, it doesn't cover my... My father has a separate insurance. Oh, he has a plan yeah. already. But uh, one of the other things is uh, the houses that he wants to construct. So ideally he has to do it right in while his earning span is still on. Or do you think he can delay some of it? Or, you know, invest that money in whatever, like a high yielding asset first and then look to build his house later. If you're absolutely sure that you need to buy a house next year, I mean, that's what you've mm -hmm. mentioned. Uh, in that case, I think you should keep your assets or whatever savings that you have in a, a debt kind of instrument. You don't have to invest mm -hmm. into equity given the volatility, etc. And But if you're not completely sure and you think that you can postpone it or there mm -hmm. are like three or four years, uh, till which uh, you, you can wait, then you could probably look at a different asset allocation, maybe about 70% equity and 30% debt. What is the meaning of a debt? Is it safe to do that kind of? Yeah, so debt in simple terms as we know is a mm -hmm. form of a fixed deposit. Fixed deposits are with the bank. Uh, typically debt instruments are uh, um, a little bit broader, so you can invest it through a mutual fund, debt mutual fund. And you can ask your advisor to really mm -hmm. help you on that. It's really quite simple too. Uh, they are pretty safe and especially for the uh, tenure that you're looking at, uh, they are a good mm -hmm. way of investing. How do I save my tax money? See, uh, as you mentioned, you already have a CA, but there are certain, uh, you know, tax-free breaks which the government also mm -hmm. gives uh, on your overall salary level, depending on which uh, tax bracket you are. So you have deductions under ATC where it's a compulsory saving on a public provident fund, life insurance policies, uh, NPS, national pension scheme. So there are different, you know, products available where we can, we can do a tax planning to that sort. Mm -hmm. uh, in addition to it, there are on equity funds and all the dividends are tax free. So if you do a efficient tax planning and efficient asset allocation, I think you can save a lot of taxes uh, through options that are av available within the tax window. 
Yeah, and perhaps when you start building your house and you take a loan, you'd get a yeah. tax break there as well. So that too could work in your favor. But tell us something. Have you ever thought about investing in small savings? Do you have a PPF account? Yeah, no, I don't have so far. Okay, but do you think it's something he can consider as I well? I think that should be your first priority to open, go back to your CA and tell him to open a public provident fund account for you because the saving there is mm -hmm. tax free in your hands. What do you think about your retirement planning and how do you see your retirement? Uh, I know it's too early, you've started <laughs> your career. It's a bad question to really start off with, but. Or rather the best question yeah. actually because now is the time when he's at his peak earning so capacities when he should plan. Typically what we see is that the players tend to retire earlier than what they think mm. they'll retire at. And so it's important to have a good corpus mm. at the time of retirement. So what do you think about retirement planning? I didn't uh, think anything like I just started playing football. So I will see later how the things go and all. Then I will plan for my retirements also. Another concept in that case that I must familiarize you with is the concept of compounding and the earlier you start the larger your benefit will be, right? So like a typical case of public provident fund. So why, why we advise it because it's a 15 year tenure and you keep on getting interest every year so that mm -hmm. gets credited to your PPF account. The next year you will earn 8.75 or 9 percent depending on wherever the interest rates are uh, on that entire corpus. So that helps you build the corpus rather than you have a one would have a tendency to you know withdraw that nine percent and then spend it. Yeah, and the idea is that the earlier you start, the smaller your amount yeah. could be. Tell us something: Are you comfortable with the idea of equity or the share market? Have you ever invested in mutual funds? I never invested in mutual funds enough. Okay, any aversion to it? When, when I started playing, like I didn't get. Uh, I didn't have a, that much salary so that I can okay. spend on it. So okay. this is the only year that I am getting a good salary. So in future I may think of that. So t typically what happens is that uh, when you get a fair amount of lump sum, uh, you will get all kinds of proposal of investing into a business, land, etc., okay. etc. Et so that's quite common and your friends, family will certainly come and talk about new proposals. But uh, equity and debt, as I mentioned earlier, they are basic assets. I think one very important rule is to keep your investments very simple. And uh, equity specifically, while it is volatile, long-term benefits of investing into equity is just tremendous. It will help you build a good retirement corpus. You know, remember that uh, it's not so important on how much money you've earned during your career but how much uh, corpus you retire with is, <laughs> is extremely extremely important so savings are and investments are a very important yeah. part of a career and uh, do you also keep a lot of money lying idle in your savings account yeah it is there in my account uh, because i want to build a house so i need the money anytime so that's okay. why i didn't do anything is there in my bank so okay. once i build my house i will spend all the money on my house Okay, so uh, another thing that uh, you know a lot of people we've seen do is that uh, at one time they only focus on one goal, right? The concept of simultaneously focusing on many life goals uh, sometimes is absent and it becomes really too simplistic. So is that something that Augustine could look at right away? I mean he mentioned this is the first year in which he's got a big payday, but uh, is that something he could start looking at right away? Uh, I think he should because as he mentioned the bulk of the money, entire money right now is sitting in a savings account mm -hmm. earning him a 4% or a 6% depending on which bank you are earning <laughs> your, your, uh, your accounts with. But to the same extent you can put that money because at least you would have that idea on when do you want to buy a house, maybe 6 months or 8 months down the line. So that kind of planning you can easily do and even as he mentioned you can look at a fixed income product mm -hmm. on mutual fund on a debt side which can just give you close to 7-8%. So not doing much change to the asset allocation because you have an immediate need. You can increase your uh, you know, earning potential in terms of the same money giving you a 4% or a 8%. Okay. Another thing, do you have any uh, EMIs or loans that are ongoing at the moment? Yeah, I have uh, my loan of a car. And is it still ongoing? How much time is left to repay it? Uh, I think it's uh, one more year is left. Okay, so in his case, he has another year of a repayment left. Um, he has a house that he wants to construct at the end of that one year. Um, should he look at 
prepaying his liability, getting rid of the liability or continuing it? I mean, mathematically, what would work out better for him? Uh, my view, see, all loans are not bad loans or good mm -hmm. loans. Uh, there are certain loans like a house loan may always be a good and come at a cheaper rate than what normal right. uh, auto loans would come at. So I would advise to, you know, prepay your auto loan because mm -hmm. you have a house necessity which can come up any time. And that you can build up on a not entire corpus of your own. Okay. You can build up on a loan, a house loan from any of the national banks or a private bank. All right, so that's something that's going to hold you in good stead, yeah, considering that you're going to be building two houses and I hope a lot more. All right, so our two experts are now armed with everything they need to do to make a holistic financial plan for Augustine's future. So let's take a quick break and in the meanwhile, let's stay rich.